This video tutorial will guide you through the setup and use of the Frames Data Specs UPC Disk and Frames Data IDA integration with MyVision Express 2014. The interface automates your frame inventory setup by automatically importing the available frame manufacturer records from Frames Data. Information such as frame manufacturer, collection, name, measurements, picture, etc. are available for import. If using multiple locations with MyVision Express, make sure to register all available locations with Frames Data. There is no configuration needed in MyVision Express if using the Frames Data Specs UPC disk. If using the Frames Data IDA integration, your account information has to be entered in the Integration Settings section of Company Information. Navigate to File. Setup, Company Information, and then click on the Integration Settings tab. Enter your username in the Username field of the Frames Data section. The zip code entered in the Company tab has to match the account registered with Frames Data. Save and then restart the application. Setting up a frame markup formula facilitates item pricing when importing records. A frame markup formula can be defined from File, Setup, Frame Markup. The frame markup is defined by collection. Note, collection is optional. If no collection is specified, then the frame markup formula will apply to all records within the group cost range. The markup can be defined by multiplier, fixed amount, ends with, or next multiple of 10 feature for rounding. The Frames Data feature is available by navigating to File, Inventory, Transactions, Frames Data Import. To load the list of manufacturers, click on the Install button. Note, this may take several minutes to complete. Select the desired manufacturers from the list and click on the Load Frames button. To select multiple manufacturers, hold down the control key on your keyboard and click each manufacturer individually. Then click the Load Frames button. You can choose to remove the previous frames data records by clicking on the Yes button at the prompt to remove the existing data. This is not required, but is recommended if importing all or existing manufacturers. You are now able to import the loaded items into your frame inventory listing from the Loaded Frames or Quick Import tab. On the Loaded Frames tab, a quick search option is available which does not require preloading the data. You are able to free type and the information will be pulled from Frames Data IDA directly. Or you can select the manufacturer, collection, style, and color 
to filter specific records once the search button is clicked. The top section shows items available to import. The bottom section shows selected items waiting to be imported. Records can be scanned in the UPC field for quick import if a barcode is available. You can manually select the desired records and click the arrow pointing down to move the record to the import list. The cost, group cost, and retail price can be modified prior to importing the items. The details button can be used to define a one-time price markup or modify the items in bulk. Commission can also be defined from this screen. A multiplier and a flat amount can be used to calculate a frame's price based on the sample cost defined. You can also specify how you would like the charge rounded using the ends with option with the ceiling value either up or down. Once reviewed, the items can be imported using the import button. You can choose to print barcode labels for the imported items if desired. From the Quick Import tab, you can select the manufacturer, collection, and style to search for specific records. This method will import all items available for a collection instead of individually importing them. The Details button can be used to see the specific frames available for the selection. Once the desired frames are selected, you can then click on the Import button to import the frames. Any frame record entered manually in the inventory listing can be linked to the Frames Data Specs UPC. Linking a record allows you to automatically update the item if an update is available from Frames Data. After navigating to File, Inventory, Frames, and selecting the desired frame record, click on the Modify button. Click on the button next to the IDA ID field and search for the corresponding frame record from the IDA list. Select the corresponding record and click on the Select button. Inventory records can be automatically synchronized with frames data to update the status. This feature is also beneficial for frames manually entered as any incorrect information will be updated. From the frames data screen, load the latest available frame manufacturer data if not already done, and then click on the Synchronize Inventory button. Items not available in the inventory listing can easily be imported from the receiving module. Any non-existing UPC scanned from the receiving module will be cross-referenced with the latest frames data loaded in your database. The feature works as follows. Navigate to File, Inventory, Transactions, Receiving. If a non-existing UPC is scanned or entered, you will be prompted to import the item from frames data if available. Select Yes to continue or No to cancel the import.
An item missing from the inventory listing can easily be imported for use directly from an order. From the Orders module, click on the ellipsis button next to the UPC field in the Frames section. Click on the Frames Data button at the bottom of the Select Inventory window. Select the desired item to import. and then click on the import button. Return to the order to complete the checkout process. If you are not already subscribed with Frames Data, you can do so by contacting them via phone or by visiting their website at www.framesdata.com. The compatible products are Frames Data Specs UPC and Frames Data IDA. This concludes our video tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please remember to visit us at Support Central where you can view additional videos.